guys, good morning. It is day two here in Sydney, Australia. I woke up very early this morning because I went to bed very early last night. I was exhausted after that day. But um, this morning I got up early, had some coffee here in my room, and I watched the sunrise over this magnificent view, did a little journaling, and now I'm dressed and I'm starving. So I'm going to venture out into one of the breakfast places. And it's a place that one of the staff members here recommended. It's a pancake place, but it's not within walking distance. So I do have to catch on the train, which is not, it's not bad because I'm getting pretty good at this train thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at it. It's well labeled. It, you can pretty much go anywhere by train or by bus and it's affordable. So I like it. I like it. So we're going to go do pancakes and then we're going to go get some photos and just kind of wander around. Today's kind of my wander around day. And then tomorrow we have some other stuff planned. But today, let's go get some pancakes. All right, guys, quick outfit check. It doesn't really change. Jeans, zip up hoodie, layers, off I went. Quick, <laughs> quick walk over to the train station. I used my own credit card to tap in. You tap in, you tap out, and that's how they know how much to charge you. There are monitors that shows you which platform you need to be on to go where you need to go. So quick check of the monitors and it was platform two. So found, quickly found platform two, hopped on the train and off I went. There are, there are uh, signs everywhere just like that one. Shows you exactly what exit to use. And just like that, I was at the rocks. It didn't take me very long. Harbor Bridge is on one side. Sydney Opera House is right over the water. I didn't realize they were that close. But Pancakes on the Rocks was a couple blocks over, and I went inside, was quickly seated. It wasn't very busy. I was kind of early. And they have an extensive menu. They have a QR code on the table where you order, but the menu is pretty extensive. There's a whole lot of sweet stuff, and then there's some savory crepes and pancakes, and then there is a whole side of things from the grill. I decided to keep it simple and just order pancakes, eggs, and some hash browns. And then sat back and enjoyed the omniance really as you can see some people got personalized service but i never received that they eh, okay but the pancakes were okay i never got any any requests for anything that i needed so i quickly ate my food and i kind of left um no one really came to check on me so yeah okay um so i decided to walk back over to the bridge and I saw the people climbing the top, um, those little things at the top right there that look like ants. Yeah, those are people. I wasn't interested. I'm not doing it. Little known fact, I'm afraid of heights. So I decided to stay on the ground and walk around a little bit. There's a trail that takes you over to Harbor Bridge and there's tons of like walkways and things. And there's a lot of people out taking pictures, family photos, Instagram photos, you name it. It's just a really nice walk and it was a really good morning the sun was out it was a nice breeze there are lots of great views of the other side of the opera house and a lot of people were just over enjoying the morning so i decided to walk back and see the front side of the opera house and this is where it got a little crowded it's probably about 11 12 noon at this point so people are starting to get out as you can see, there's lots of people out taking photos. Uh, people are out running, or some people out biking. I, hey, it was a little too crowded for that for me. So I decided to make my way over to the opera house and sit down and get a closer look. Um, I sat for a little bit and then I decided to walk up the stairs. It's a lot of stairs to the front of the opera house. But I walk up the stairs and just to get a closer look, I did book a tour though, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. I was looking up to the left and there's a lot of people coming and going out of this gate. And I didn't know what was over there, so I got a closer look and turns out it's the Royal Botanic Garden. So I decided to go into the garden and have a look around. <laughs>
Okay guys, I have um, walked by the Opera House. I'm currently in the Royal Botanic Gardens and I'm following an All Trails app and it's just, the gardens are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And they have a wishing tree. So I was reading the thing about the wishing tree and it was a lovely couple next to me. And the, and the wife was trying to get the husband to, um, to do the wishing tree with us because you have to walk around three times forward and then walk around three times backwards she did it with me the husband was like i have no parts of it so he counted <laughs> he counted for both of us how many times we walked forward and then you got to walk backwards so i did my wishing tree i made my wish and now i am walking through the botanic gardens um i wanted to come on here really quickly because i had um an episode of traveling while black um i was going to get breakfast this morning and i went to Oh wait, it's a little loud here. Let me go back this way. I was going to get breakfast this morning and I was at Pancakes on the Rock. And of course, Australia is another one of those countries where you're not going to see a lot of people who look like you. And I did not see a lot of people who look like me. Um, I was the only one in the entire restaurant and I was dining alone. And I'm walking around and everybody's, everybody's kind of like doing the, the glance thing. And this one lady, she was Muslim because she had on her, her hijab. And I'm walking to the restroom at the end of my meal and I caught her staring. She's like, so I looked over at her and I smiled and she quickly went, I don't know, I can't, you can't make this stuff up. Traveling while black. forgot to put um <laughs> the hotel here has different door hangers for different things here let me show you and I'll talk while we go um put this on the ground they have different like little hangers on your door like do not disturb and all of those and I forgot to put my <laughs> my tidy up hanger on there because you know we don't have tidy up hangers right so each one of the little hangers, let's see, they have, well, I put the tidy up one up right now, so I won't forget. And then the one I had on there yesterday was not now. And then they have laundry, and they have breakfast. Well, well, I left, I forgot to put the tidy up hanger on. So I come in and I'm like, I just wanted like one new uh, hand towel. And my hand towel is still on the floor. You see where I left it. And I was like, why didn't they why didn't they redo my hand towel? And why didn't they make up my bed? And I'm like, well duh, because you didn't put the tidy up thing on there. <laughs> I'll put it on there tomorrow. It's fine. But when I say that bed, whew, man, that bed was a fluffy cloud last night of goodness. After I'd been up for like 36 hours. Man, that bed was amazing. Um, I am Tired, tired but good. I had a good day today. I, what did I do? Um, this morning I went to Pancakes on the Rocks and I got a little footage of that and had my black woman moment there. And then I left there and went to uh, the, oh, the, the Sydney Opera House. Duh, how did I forget that? And I uh, walked by the Harbor Bridge because they're right there next to each other. And I have a app, an app on my phone called All Trails. I have the free version. 
and it tells you all of the trails and the walking trails and running trails, whatever you want to do in that area. So there are quite a few in that little area in, I think it's called the rocks. I don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. But it has all of the trails in that area. So I did a couple trails and one took me around the harbor and the other one took me past the Sydney, Sydney Opera House and into the Botanic Gardens, which are amazing. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Only because you get to see all of the things that are native to the country that you're in. So there's all kinds of different trees and different things. And I met a lovely couple, I think I told you that earlier, as we did the, the wishing tree. So that was that was a lot of fun because you have to walk forward three times around the tree and then you have to walk backwards three times around the tree. And because I did it and she did it, the husband actually kept count on me too, which was, it. I've met some wonderful people. I have met some great people. And uh, after that, I went back past the opera house and I'm gonna do a walk, I'm, yeah, a walking tour on the Sydney Opera House, inside the Sydney Opera House tomorrow, which is gonna be a lot of fun. And after I did that, it was so crowded. It was crowded with the video that I took earlier, but when I say it was, that was about 11 a.m. when I first started my trek. When I say at 1 p.m., you couldn't see the ground. It was so many people too peopley for me. So then I hopped on the bus and brought my butt back here to the hotel. Stopped by the little convenience store, got some water, and I got hold on, some chips. This is supposedly the Australian version of the kettle chips for uh, the sweet chili and sour cream so i'm going to indulge in some chips put my feet up uh after i rub them with my knobby ball which i'm going to start doing now be excuse me because later i'm gonna go dancing i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna bite the bullet and do it i gotta take a train or a train in a bus or uber or i don't know i don't know i'll figure it out i think it's a train or bus which isn't isn't bad, it's still like 20 minutes. I told you, man, transportation here is amazing. Oh, speaking of transportation here, this morning I was gonna take two trains to get down to the um, the harbor area or the, the rocks. And they have construction on the train tracks today. So you get on and the announcer comes on, the train conductor comes on and tells you like, hey, this train is going to stop at this station because we have maintenance on the tracks this weekend. And he goes, if you want to go, um, if you want to continue on to either the airport here or here, you have to get off and take the light rail. And he even tells you the light rails to take, right? This is why I like, this is why I like the train system. I, whoever's over there transportation, y'all are on it. You get off that train, you come up, and there are big signs to tell you if you're going here, go this way. And they literally arrows. If you're going here, go that way. And there's people. There are people standing there in the in the um, vests, in the reflective vests, and they will tell you exactly where you need to go. They are patient, they are kind, and they are knowledgeable. They know, they know how to get there. I, y'all, y'all are my people, man. Y'all, I, hey, hands down, y'all are my people. Um, I'm gonna put my feet up, <laughs> drink some water, and relax for a few hours before I might head downstairs for a happy hour and grab a beer or something. I don't know. And then I'm gonna go out dancing tonight. So until then, I'll see you later. <laughs> guys sorry about the lighting um that's why we get in the hotel room but uh my burger came in a little takeaway bag and this is what's inside we got my napkins my fries um i have not seen any ketchup all up in here so we'll figure that out later 
It's my burger. Got a shroom burger. So it's a burger with mushrooms. So I get into this box. Oh, yeah. You know it's going to be good when it comes wrapped in paper. There's a lot of lettuce on it. I don't know. There's a burger in there somewhere. There it is. Oh, now the beef here is supposed to be really, really good because it is grass fed. We'll see. I don't know if the light in here is what it is, but I tried. The light in here, it is what it is. I tried. So, I don't see any. And the mushrooms on my burger. Inside. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Mmm. It's in the patty. Oh, okay. That's the front. I don't know. Mm. Not bad. Okay. I know someone was going to ask me, so this is what I mean by the mushrooms are in the patty. Like, you see on this side where the mushrooms are coming out, and then you see on the other side where there's like the hollow little place. So it's not really a burger burger, which I'm disappointed because supposedly it's grass-fed beef here. So I'm going to have to keep going. Maybe I do need to get a steak. Eh, womp womp.